Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's model this part in AutoCAD 3D. But before this, let's understand some basics for AutoCAD 3D. So the first thing is the drawing template. So you have different type of templates here. This is for 2D and this is for 3D when you have English unit. And when you have metric unit, you go for ACAD ISO 3D. So I have metric unit, so I'll go with this. And here, you should always check your workspace. You should always have 3D modeling workspace. Then the next thing is, you should always have parallel view for better snapping. Check your O snap setting. You should have object snap and 3D object snap selected. Now let's open the drawing. So this is the drawing. And to model this part, we will use these commands. These commands include 2D and 3D commands. Now to start the part in AutoCAD 3D, you must understand the concept of sketching plane in AutoCAD 3D. And to understand this, you must observe your grids, which is your sketching plane. So our sketching plane is always XY plane. And now this sketching plane is onto the top plane. So whenever we try to draw something on top plane, we should have this orientation. Now if you want to draw something on your right plane, then you must change your sketching plane from top to right. Now see, this is your right plane and your XY plane is laying on your right plane. Similarly, if you want to draw something on your front plane, then you must change your sketching plane to front. Now you see, this is your front plane and your XY plane is onto the front plane. And to go back to your default orientation, just select UCS world and it will come back to your default orientation. So this was the concept of sketching plane in AutoCAD 3D. Now let's start the part. So in AutoCAD 3D, you can build a part with a different approach. You can create all the features in the same location to build a part or you can create all the features separately in different locations and you can bring it together to build a part. So I'll be using both the methods simultaneously and you will understand this easily in coming session. So let's get started. So now you understand the concept of sketching plane and I'll be creating this base feature first. And these are the dimensions to create it. And for this, I need front sketching plane. So let's change to front. Press F7 to switch off your grid. Now let's start with circle. Draw a circle with radius 138. One line from the center of this circle. This side, it is 175, 350 by 2. Then upwards, it is 100. One more line from here, downwards, 100. Now mirror these two lines. From this center to this quadrant. Now draw another line from this point to tangent of this circle and from this point to tangent of this circle. Similarly, this side from this point to tangent of this circle and from this point to tangent of this circle. Now trim it, this portion, this portion and this portion. Now go for press pull, select this section, extrude it up to 60. Now the next feature is this cylindrical portion. So draw a circle onto this surface from here. The dia is 238. So D enter 238 enter. Now go for press pull. Select this section and extrude it up to 62. Change the visual style. Select set it with edge. So now all add material features are done. Now I'll go with remove material feature. So first I'll create this cutout. So draw a circle onto this surface. Select the center. Shift right click and access this menu. Select center and place your circle. Now the circle die is 162. Go for press pull. Select this section. Negative direction and it's done. 
Now the next feature is this cutout both side and for that I need top sketching plane so change it to top. Now draw the sketch go with line start from here this side 100 once again line from this point this side 75 then this side 30 one more line from here this side now rotate this line select this line select this point and type minus 30 which will be positive 60 now one more line from this point this side is just extend it now go for trim select this line and this line as a reference and trim these two portions now go with press pull select this section downwards you just extrude up to 300 now i'll move it select this and i will move from this reference to the mid of this something like this now i will mirror it this feature i am going to mirror with this quadrant shift and right click select quadrant and select this quadrant and this quadrant now subtract su enter select this body enter then this body this body enter so material is removed now i'll delete this section now the last feature is these two holes and for this i'll go with circle i'll draw one circle of dia 38 d enter 38 enter press pull select the section extrude it up to 10 one more circle of dia 20 d enter 20 enter now extrude it up to any random value which should cross the thickness of cylinder so select this and i will select as 50 now i will unite these two features so u and i enter select this two and enter delete these sketches now i will move it from this center to this quadrant first and once again move to this side 30 now go for subtract su select this body enter and this body enter so it is removed now before removing you can pattern it and remove at a time but here I am doing separately in both the direction. So first I will change the sketching plane. And I will select front sketching plane. Now once again draw the circle of dia 38. Press pull. Select this and 10. Once again circle. center of this die is 20 press pull extrude ext enter select this circle extrude it up to 50 now unite it u and i select these two features enter now i'll move it from this center to this quadrant first once again move select this feature this direction 30 and subtract it su enter select this body enter and this body enter Now delete all unwanted sketches.
and your part is done